What does the city of tomorrow look like? No, it's not a mirage in the desert haze, nor is it Elon Musk's latest plan to colonize Mars. For billionaire Mark Lohr, it's eco-friendly buildings constructed from scratch and spread across some 150,000 acres in the southwest desert. Hey there, welcome to another episode of High Technology. If this is your first time, join the club as we unravel high-end technologies on the planet by subscribing to this channel and hitting the notification bell so you won't miss any exciting videos in the future. Today. Join us as we take a closer look at this brand new American city that will revolutionize urban living. Millionaire Mark Lohr's design for Telosa, a proposed desert city in the United States, was unveiled in September 2021. The goal of this project is to build a fairer, more environmentally friendly future city that may serve as a model for coming generations. Mark Lohr wants to bring together and blend the best qualities found in many places throughout the world. Telosa will likely be as dynamic and diverse as New York with the effectiveness, cleanliness, and safety of Tokyo as well as the wonderful social services and government model of Stockholm. It would be the world's fairest, most welcoming, and inclusive metropolis. By 2050, this megacity project hopes to host 5 million people with 50,000 of them moving in during the initial stage of building. The project's finalized site is still to be determined. The city will be built somewhere in one of U.S. desert regions. According to the project's planners, Mark Lohr's concept of a desert city was inspired by the clear need for a community where everyone might feel safe and included, be able to get to work from home quickly, and simultaneously experience a connection to nature. The term telos from ancient Greek, which means the highest purpose, is where the name of this megacity, Telosa, originates. The idea attempts to unite people in society so they can realize their greatest potential. Telosa will be an idealistic metropolis, but there is a true necessity to develop this desert city because it will put people at the center of its mission and ideals. It is a unique idea that will guarantee a bright future for them. The Appalachian region is primarily being constructed by Telosa cities, developers, and planners as potential sites for the mega project. Along with Arizona, Idaho, Nevada, Texas, and Utah, the project will be built in two parts, with the first housing 50,000 people on 1,500 acres with all the amenities by 2030. The master plan for the first phase of Telosa's development was conceived by Danish architect Bjark Ingels and his company Bjark Ingels Group with the goal of reaching a population of 5 million during the following 40 years. Digital representations of the project's architecture showed a number of green residential towers and numerous open spaces in the city. The Equitism Tower skyscraper, which will have elevated water reservoirs, aeroponic farms, and an energy-producing photovoltaic roof is depicted in a computer-generated image. According to the proposed master design, there would be a central observation tower surrounded by smaller residential towers as well as commercial, cultural, and medical amenities, all of which will be connected to rail and lush landscaping. Mark Lore has so far registered the name Telosa as a trademark and built a website to promote its development. Additionally, they are accepting applications from anyone who wants to move there. The project's on-ground construction will start after the site is finished. To maintain sustainability throughout the city's development, the developers will pay more attention to the environment. Telosa City's first phase, which seeks to transfer 50,000 people by 2030, is anticipated to cost $25 billion. This mega desert city is anticipated to cost more than $400 billion in total. It would receive funding from philanthropic donors and private investors as well as grants and subsidies from the government. Many other billionaires have been motivated to develop such innovative towns by the Telosa concept, and there may be many more such projects in the future. A noteworthy example is The Line, a futuristic linear city in Saudi Arabia. The idea to build a 150,000 hectare desert Desert City intends to provide environmentally friendly construction, sustainable energy generation, and a water system that can withstand droughts. The Losa will adopt an urban design that will enable residents to travel 15 minutes or less to get to their places of employment, schools, and services. The project seeks to offer locals and guests first-rate encounters and creative solutions that enhance their quality of life. It makes an effort to save the environment and get the next generation ready for a better, more ethical future. The Losa will 
also restrict the usage of fossil fuel-powered automobiles. Telosa's roadways emphasize bicycles, pedestrians, and slowly moving autonomous electric vehicles to safeguard the city's air quality. The city's planners highlight that it is being built to be among the greenest cities on the earth. Reuse, recycling, and the avoidance of the extraction of natural resources are highly prioritized in Telosa. The city will have aeroponic farms where products can be grown for local consumption. There will be rooftop solar panels that produce sustainable energy on every building in the city. Telosa will also include a lot of native vegetation, parks, and green areas despite being an urban area. The so-called superblocks, which confine automobile traffic to major roads around the outer and open up entire groups of street to pedestrians and bikes, are one of the innovative concepts suggested for this metropolis. The goal is to lessen vehicle-related pollution and provide desperately needed noise pollution comfort for locals. They are designed to create more open space for citizens to meet, talk, and do activities and advanced communications infrastructure will make wireless services more affordable and accessible with Telosa's apps, making city information available to all residents. A next-generation infrastructure and management system will provide city services in real-time, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, and advanced motor sensing will be deployed to deliver improved services. The city will also feature an underground movement system to safely and cleanly transport waste and other goods. Ample space will be reserved in the city for education institutes, healthcare centers, cultural centers, and various stores which will be surrounded by shaded public spaces. The Telosa Master Plan provides a range of housing options that support the idea of equitism, which stands for equity, diversity, and inclusion. Although anyone could build homes on the property, Telosa would still be the owner. In an ideal world, as the city expands, the land value would likewise increase over time and be reinvested in the Telosa Foundation, which would then use the proceeds to finance equal access to good schools, parks, safe streets, and transit. Citizens will also be able to work for greater prosperity that will be shared evenly by all as a result. Mark Lore also wants to alter the way that the desert city is governed. The current administration's lack of openness in their use of taxpayer money encourages fraud and resource waste. All government meetings and financial decisions would be made in this new desert society in full public view to ensure complete openness. Telosa City's government would be autonomous and only focused on giving its residents access to the best resources and opportunities. It doesn't seem like the most feasible or sustainable notion to start from scratch while creating a metropolis in the desert. Telosa City's building would confront several difficulties, just like any other city. Due to the city's position in a desert, there may not be enough water available for the city to function. Thus, it will need to utilize 80% less water per person. Many critics of this proposed city claim that these problems prevent cities of this type and similar economic models from succeeding. Yet, Mark has continued to work on his dream city despite these criticisms. So, will Telosa turn out to be a highly sustainable template for the future of humanity? Or will it turn out to be a hugely expensive greenwashing total flop? All we can do is wait and see. If you end up genuinely loving it, start preparing your belongings because the first residents may be able to move in by 2030. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can always get to watch more incredible videos like this. This has been High Technology serving you the best in cutting edge contents on the highest form of technology available on the planet. Until then, see you!